Last week, Fort Meade, along with Army installations worldwide, concluded National Suicide Prevention Month with a Suicide Prevention Training Stand Down Day. It teaches people to see that challenges are temporary, not permanent. Challenges are local, not global. Challenges can be changed by your own effort. Four training sessions for service members, civilians, and post leadership were held Wednesday at the Post Theater. And although the Army called for the stand down, Kenneth Jones from Army Community Services says it's a DOD problem. In the Army, when we say that we saw more suicides in one month than any time prior, keeping statistics, we're talking about a, a very large number in one month. That supersedes what we saw in all the other services. But yes, this is a DOD problem. Jones also added that it's just not an active duty problem either. It's a civilian one too. There was one installation where we had five employees who killed themselves in the same organization in the same week. This was an Air Force installation. And when we look at things like when we look at things like sequestration and some of the cuts that are coming, these times that we're living in are unprecedented. Okay. So when we talk about the stress among the workforce, what our people are going through, I'm sure you've seen it. A panel of experts was on hand to answer questions, including responding to the issues of stigma and the reporting of mental health issues. Our secretary dates in 2008 actually changed the requirement on question 21. So it was no longer required to list mental health treatment, and particularly with regard to um, issues related to combat, uh, marital issues, grief type of issues. Um, so that was, a, that was a real significant policy change in terms of reducing barriers and stigma related to seeking care, particularly as it relates to the security clearance. Now the other, the other piece that's less known that we'd like to educate you know, folks who are going through a security clearance process or who have been sent to mental health or a command directed evaluation is that it's actually not seeking mental health having a mental health diagnosis that rules somebody out of a security clearance. What we look for in these specialty type of evaluations is, what is the issue with regard to a person's judgment and reliability? And often, seeking treatment is seen as good judgment. For more information on suicide prevention, go to www.preventsuicide.army.mil. Reporting for the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, I'm Brian Spann, Meade TV.